how to publish your GrooveFunnels or GroovePages site to your own domain name. What's up everybody? My name is James Jernigan and in this video I'm going to show you really quickly how to publish your GrooveFunnels website to your own domain name. Now just in case you're new to my channel or new to GrooveFunnels or you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a link right below this video that's going to give you free access to GrooveFunnels which is pretty much uh, one of the coolest all-in-one automated uh, business management softwares of 2021. So like I said, there's a link right below. You can get free access and you can make three websites exactly like uh, what I'm about to show you here. So anyways, for those of you guys who are GrooveFunnels users already and you're just looking for a quick tutorial on how to publish to your own domain name, that's what this is. So let's just get right to it. Here you can see this website I've built for um, an optician in New York City and if I click on pages here you can see I have my different location pages set up here for different places in New York City and if I click on these different pages they're all set up and ready to go I'm ready to make this website live so that's what we're gonna do what you're gonna wanna do is come here to this uh, button that says publish and here you see where it says publish on your own domain so go ahead and click that now obviously you're going to need a domain name so in case you're not sure how to get one I like to get mine from this website namecheap.com I'm not affiliated with them I don't get anything at all for you using them I just like them because uh, right in the name name cheap uh, they're cheap um, and for like ten dollars a year you can get a dot com uh, it's actually less than ten dollars I think it's like eight bucks anyways so you're going to need to create an account and purchase a domain name here as you can see right here eight dollars and eighty eight cents for a dot com I have already purchased optical nyc.com because as I showed you this is a website for opticians so let's get right into it there's one more thing you're gonna need besides your domain which you can get at Namecheap and it's gonna show up under your domain list you're also going to need to create an account on this website Cloudflare it's just cloudflare.com create an account and once you've created an account you're going to click this button add a site so here is where you're going to enter your information from the domain that you purchased so as I said mine is opticalnyc.com so that's what I'm going to put in here now you're going to go to add site um, and you're going to select the free one down here now before you go any further you're also going to need to add this website into your GrooveFunnels account so I just pasted it here you could see opticalnyc.com and then you're gonna hit publish so um, you're also gonna need to click this publishing help right here which will open up a new tab and then uh, just click this Namecheap option if you're using Namecheap if not you can click uh, whichever one you want but anyways right here it says then at Cloudflare point your subdomain CNAME record to host10.groovepages. So go ahead and copy host10.groovepages.com. Um, and then you're going to come back to your Cloudflare page here. And like I said, select the free plan, continue. They're going to scan your DNS records. So that's why I said it's important to go to GrooveFunnels and click publish. Um, so once you do that, there's a couple things you need to do here on this page, but it's super simple. It's not going to take more than like two minutes. So um, just delete these first two records. They're the only ones that have the option to delete. There's an A record and a C name record. So just go ahead and click delete and delete. You're going to have to click twice to confirm it. Now you're going to hit add record. And this is where you're going to select where it says A. You're going to want to select C name. Here it's, it even tells you use at for root. So go ahead and put at and then target is where you're going to want to paste your host 10 dot groovepages.com and then you're going to want to hit click save now one thing I like to do also this is just uh, to nip it in the bud and uh, clear up that www I like to click add record click C name again and instead of at put www dot and then put at in your second one and what that's going to do is just uh, anybody who tries to type www dot 
your domain name is going to get redirected to um, your actual website instead of getting a 404 error. Now, this is kind of an old thing. Not too many people type www. anymore, but if you think it might be a problem, go ahead and save that as well. And um, then you're going to want to hit continue. So there's one more step you have to do. And that is going to be, it tells you right here, it walks you through it, but uh, I just wanted to make this video to clear things up for you. So just go ahead and copy this first name server, pop over into your Namecheap account. Like I said, this is under domain list tab here. You have your domain selected. Now you're going to come down here to where it says name servers on the left and uh, pop this tab open and click custom DNS. And that's where you're going to paste in that first link. Now you're going to want to go back to Cloudflare and grab this second link. And as you can see, the first one was daisy.ns.cloudflare.com. The second one is kurt.ns.cloudflare.com. Double check that yours is the same. Uh, I can't guarantee you that it will be, but I think it will. But anyways, just copy the URLs that it gives you there paste them both into this uh, little box here then make sure you click this green check mark to save might take just a couple seconds and as you can see here it says DNS server excuse me update may take up to 48 hours to take effect now from my experience that is uh, not usually the case so we will just go ahead and check it by opening an incognito window here. And as you can see, opticalnyc.com is the domain. So open an incognito window, and I'll just go ahead and paste, whoops, that's not the correct one, but uh, opticalnyc.com and check it out. And so as it says, it might take up to 48 hours to take effect. Um, so if it hasn't taken effect, you'll just get this blue groove pages, but from my experience, if you click refresh, um, within a few minutes, normally this comes up and um, what you could do is just come back to your GrooveFunnels account and click publish. Oh, you know what? Um, that's because I didn't click this. If you click done on Cloudflare, check name servers, it will uh, walk you through a click quick check and one thing I like to do is make sure this all automatic HTTPS is on so you want to save that and uh, once again here always use HTTPS um, turn it on and this is up to you if you want to do auto minify I just leave it as it is um, all these settings I just leave them how they are so you can go ahead and do that and then um, you can go ahead and click this recheck button if you want to recheck it but like I said let's just open up this incognito window one more time and uh, see if we can't get it to go live during the video for you guys like I said um, or uh, like the pop-up said it might take up to 48 hours but from my experience that is not usually the case. Um, maybe it's taken a few minutes this time, but uh, I'm telling you guys within just a few minutes, normally your site will be live and I'm just clicking, just double checking to make sure that all these settings are correct. And uh, it looks like they are. It says check back in a few hours. Uh, so check one more time here. Yeah, and I guess it's going to take a few minutes this time. But anyways, guys, that's how you make your site live. By the time I upload this video, this site should be live. So you can check it. OpticalNYC.com and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. If it did, if you could give me a like, that would be awesome. And uh, if you want to see more GrooveFunnels content, more SEO content, more content about digital marketing, YouTubing, whatever you want to call it, um, click the subscribe button. It's bright red down below. You already know. Um, so I will catch you guys on the next video.